Welcome back to the official Atari podcast, I guess, you know, we're going to call that. We obviously did the last one with Combinera, but we are back with some recharged action. Adam is back. Hello, um, hello. And we're going to be showing you some Gravatar recharged. <gasps> did we just That's announce right. that? We did just announce that. Uh, it was announced on Thursday of last week. That would be the 21st. And this will be available. This will be showing up uh, a couple days later, I guess. And so far, the reception has been very cool, very good. You'll notice things look a little bit different. We'll talk about that along the way here. If you're listening on audio feeds, you know, we'll try to talk and fill the dead air as much as possible. But for the most part, this is uh, this is going to be a let's play format style. We're showing off the game showing off some basically all the ins and outs, things that have changed since Breakout and the prior Recharge titles, uh, some new and exciting stuff. And I hope you like what you see. So I got some questions here for some people. We'll talk about those later. And okay. otherwise, we'll just we'll just give you the tour. So yeah. what do you say? That sound good? You think we dive right in? Let's dive right in. Let's let's play some Gravatar Recharge. This is all like right, the first on real here. preview. We have the announcement trailer available, but I mean, let's let's give it up for Meg McDuffie because from the jump, you know that this is uh, that, that this is going to be different, not just because of what you see, not just because of the new menus, but also because of the sounds and the vibes. Um, can you just can you just crank that up a little bit? Let's let's yeah. just vibe a little bit. Can you hear that? Can you hear those horns? I mean, it's very chill. It is very chill. Very I chill. love it. I learned a lot when we were given the uh, audio direction for this game. I learned that if you type any combinations of words into YouTube, uh -huh. that it will give you something. You know. <laughs> okay. So I, yeah. So I searched like desert jazz, and I was like, surely that doesn't exist, and it does exist. Desert so, jazz. So, yeah, desert jazz. Any combination of words and a genre of music. Yeah. You'll find that somebody has done it somewhere, so it's pretty yeah. cool. And the and the the tones and the vibes of the music really reflect reflect the tones, the vibes of the game. But we're kind of slowing down a bit here, so why don't why don't we uh, let's jump into some arcade? Let's play some co-op. All right, let's do it. Oh, things have changed here. Don't go further. Slow down. So here, you notice that with the starting with Breakout and coming to the other titles uh, soon is that we added a couple of arcade modes. This is by request of the of the fans. So thank you for the feedback. We're always listening. And what we did here was we kind of streamlined it. So there is we're back to one mode, but the default mode now has three lives and yep. there are modifiers now. So you can turn on one, all two or none of these power ups. So you could have an option for a single life mode, which is ultimately a masochist mode. There's a no power up <laughs> mode. Then there's a no shield mode, which means one hit and you're out. Because by default, you have a shield, you could take one hit, mm -hmm. then it recharges, and then you could take that hit again. If you take two hits in a row, it's over, you're done. But there is a life system and you have the ability to earn additional lives as you hit certain score thresholds. Also, so, keep in mind the shield while you can take a hit, you'll notice while we play, sometimes <laughs> it results in you still getting screwed over. <laughs> oh yeah, more more than likely. I'd say 70% <laughs> of the time that shield is just delaying the inevitable. Yeah, it, it's very times, reminiscent of uh, the warp, what is it, the, the turbo button or God, what do we call it? The light speed button? What is it called? <laughs> In asteroids, yeah, warp you, speed, yeah, yeah, warp yeah, speed, speed, yeah. But, yeah <laughs> where you don't warp know what's going to happen. Whatever call it, yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think the way I referred to it was the I'm effed button. Yeah. Because when uh, yeah when Vinus was talking about it, he was always saying he was actually resistant because he's like it's it's just pointless. It's an old thing. Why would somebody do it? I'm like yeah. because it's literally the you know I'm effed and out of options button. That's why you do it. Yep. <laughs> it's, you got to keep it. So we kept it. Um, that's not here though. So let's jump in. All right. Let's play let's a little do Gravatar. It. So you'll be blue. I'll be orange. My favorite color. And here we are. Oh man. Let's just let's just take this in for a second here. So. Basic premise, Gravatar. Your goal, you are in a stellar system. I was told this earlier by one of our VCS testers. I'll credit him in a minute. Um, but I was told 
that not everything is a solar system. We are in a solar system because I guess of Earth and our star. And then this is a stellar system or a star system. So okay. you are you starting in a stellar system here and you'll notice these lines and these lines will show you where the closest thing is when you hit them and what the fastest way to get there is. And okay. in the arcade mode, you are meant to land on some of these planets. Let's land on this planet. Okay. Here we go. Oh, we are landing on this planet. Okay. So we have the objective here, the gravity sucking us up towards the middle. And really simple objective here, we've got to activate some beacons and not die in the process. Oh, <laughs> so I'll censor some stuff, don't worry, go, go crazy. Okay. Right, I'll get another uh, Adam Cussing supercut. Oh god. Okay. So here we go. So we got some UFOs shooting us, um, we got some turrets shooting us, and the purpose here, we're just trying to activate these beacons and not die. Yeah. Pretty simple. Um, just got to... Stay in the zone. You can get that one on the right while I get this one on the left. Or not. I'll just do them both. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to guy. do this. <laughs> he's, he's blown up. He's blown up our fuel as well, which is which sucks because we are on limited fuel. We'll so get it on the next planet. Here. All right, fair enough. Oh, here we go. Let's go here. So here's uh here's another one here. We'll jump this little asteroid, asteroid belt here. Fields, yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. So where do you want to go? Let's go up. Let's follow I mean, my lead. You lead the way. I'll try and follow and not destroy everything. Okay, cool. Appreciate it. Like, I'll destroy enemies. God, the mines yeah. are so <laughs> dangerous. The mines are really dangerous. The area effect will really mess you up. You can take the left side. Oh, man, look at this. Oh, I'm on a... Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, cool. I think there's another fuel here, right? There's at least yep. two fuel in everything, and hopefully Adam doesn't steal it and screw us over. Uh, I promise nothing. Oh, so the okay, objective well, in this one, and obviously these levels, these are the very beginner levels, but the objective in the asteroid uh, field levels is to just destroy all the enemies that are present. Uh, let's get out of here and go to another planet. Yeah, I'm not saying fuel, just let me make sure I get the next one. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna burn more fuel trying to get, trying to find it. Okay, this one's over this way, so. Yeah, I'm just trying to go and like just burst here to conserve. When you can. Yeah. There we go. Oh, here oh. we go. Okay. Yeah, there's usually fuel at the top. This is a reactor, I think. Yeah, I think there's usually something over here, right? Nope, it's not there. Oh god, I gotta get through. Okay. So the reactor levels. We'll grab that later. Okay. The reactor levels are, are one of the coolest ones, and this is where I'm I'm really excited to see some people uh show okay. their stuff. Oh god, why is it there? Oh good, okay, there's an easier one. Oh the I got it. the mine and the guy. Okay, oh jeez. Cool. I looked at your guy for a second. The tether the tether should be fine. Yeah, you got this. I just need to get to the oh, fuel. Oh, oh, no! <laughs> oh no! Just don't die, just don't die, just don't die, just don't die. Oh no, you don't need fuel oh, anymore. Running. You're right. I don't. <laughs> there you go, that's a quick way to get fuel. Alright, we got two, yeah. so you can get the get the easy one. Pick it up. I don't need. I don't need the other one. Fine. Okay. All you right. ready? Shoot it. Yep. Go. Okay. So with the reactors, you shoot the reactor, and then you have a time to escape. So oh. you got 24 seconds here to get out of here. We got time. We got time. Yep. This is plenty. Now for a long time, because this is the first level I think you made, right? Yeah. And there was a timer of 10 seconds. I mean, I didn't set no. that timer. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know who did. It, you know, it, was, it was probably careless, right? Like it was Vi probably careless. Vitus somehow snuck back into the company and changed it. I imagine. <laughs> oh, okay. He's the, Got it. he's the masochist. Yeah. <laughs> Got to give credit to to the art team here for the work in the stellar systems, yeah. star systems, because it's gorgeous. It's yeah. so cool. And just oh. all the unique planet backdrops. Like this one, this one literally changed. So right now we're in one yep. of these caves. And this actually changed probably only like a couple weeks ago where they finalized this and it made a huge difference and adding a level of depth that you don't really see in uh, in a lot of these other ones that make it feel like open space. So simultaneously it feels Where's open going? and constrained. You, you want this it. one? No, go for it, take it. You know, we haven't really talked about this, but there's a tractor beam as well. You like you know, that? I'm I take just it, you, flung you it at you. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah, and then, you, and then you ran into a wall. The mine. 
Oh, right. There was there was fuel behind that, wasn't there? Yeah, there blew was. Some fuel. Oh, God. Gravity's pulling us down. <laughs> what are you Is there doing? fuel at the bottom? Uh, I'm seeing if there's fuel underneath here. Nope. All right, let's get off here. Let's just go to the next one. There was one yeah. right by us here. What? There was a planet. Oh, wait, we missed something there. Okay, let's not worry about it. Let's go to the next one for the time being. Right. Okay, fair enough. Oh, we missed a beacon. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Hey, let's just take this slow. Yeah. So now we're on a planet. Cool. Yeah, the important thing is to watch the objectives. Cause some chain reactions. Oh my god, the, uh, you just blew up fuel. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. What? Yeah. When you did shot I, that I mine. Did I see a blue explosion? I didn't oh, see a blue explosion. I saw it. Damn. All right, well, let's save this pod. We got these pods in the game as well. This is like gonna be mainly for bonus points. It's not gonna give you much in... Uh... I have a feeling we're in trouble. Okay, well, <laughs> whoever dies... This isn't the last is one, gonna... is it? We There's two lives left. So I think we could each die. Like it's a... Yeah. Where was the last one? All right, beacon? it's up here, it's up here. It's Nope, that one's activated. Oh, here it, it is. Be... Oh, there it is, okay. Okay, cool. Let's go to the right. There's no fuel here, are we sure? 100%. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but... I am enough. Now. Okay. Enough percent sure. <laughs> okay, right. where's this last one? Got to the left. Okay. Yeah. This is not going to end well. No. Fun fact, though, there is an achievement for running out of fuel and crashing into the star. Is there really? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know we put that in. I like it, because yeah. I'm going to do that right now. I'm out of fuel. No! I'm not going to let you. You I'm bastard! Not gonna... I can't believe oh, you God. screwed me on that achievement! God damn it, you tethered me oh. away. We're out of lives, so it's all on you now. Um, okay, so... So this is a space station. There's uh, various scenarios, so you'll find that there's kind of these templated scenarios as you land on these planets. So right now, he's in the space station. The purpose of the space station is to grab the intelligence and then escape. So it's similar to the reactor levels, but without the oh, no. without the time pressure when you blow up the uh, when you blow up that uh, that reactor. Yeah, which is all right. I'm stressing right now. Oh, boy, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You're all good. All right, cool. Okay. Now I just need to escape and then I oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. This is so the game feels great. Like it may not look like it watching uh, watching Adam play, but the game really does feel responsive. It's just about taking your time, you know, yeah. being cool. You get okay. time bonuses in the missions mode, and there may or may not be a time Whoa. bonus in the arcade mode. Crazy. When we complete the plan, he's being sucked into the black hole, and we are now being transported. And by we, I mean Adam is now being transported. Here oh, you back. are. Hey, we got our score bonus. Okay, great. So now I'm back, and where are we going? Uh, let's find this one right here. Okay. So with each... Oh, there's one. Oh, the asteroids. Okay. This one's cool. So with each successive stellar system that you're in, it just doesn't feel natural to say stellar system. Yeah. You know? Just say solar I just, system. I don't want to offend the guy. You know? <laughs> he takes it very seriously. Well, he's testing the game on the BCS, and, you know, he might... How uh, nitpicky is he going to get, right? Yeah, fair. Because we said because we disregarded his uh -oh. astronomical expertise, which is fun to say on two levels. Okay, so now we got, I'm being awesome, hang on. Oh, nice. There we go. Yeah. So okay, like so that. what, so what Jason did there ahead. was he uh, took out the shield generator and the shield generator just ensures that like anything within its range, it's protecting with the shield and we cannot destroy. So you have to take it out first, which is always, uh, Let's just say okay. challenging. I'm gonna try to. Yeah, I need that fuel. Don't I know. Fuck, I'm trying don't to. Don't fuck me on this, Jason. <laughs> oh, oh God! All right, go get it. Don't die on the way. Okay, I got it. Yeah. The other thing is for these levels, like we talk about gravity. I mean, the game's gravitar, right? So yeah. gravity is a big part of it. Most level, most scenarios have different gravity rules. Yeah. So in this case of the space station and these asteroid fields, there's no gravity. Yeah. So it sounds like that'd make things easier and you'd be incorrect. <laughs> it just makes it more complicated. Oh, there's the last guy over here. 
especially since that's where we put you in those fighter situations. All right, I'm gonna grab this pod. All right, let's go. Nice. Ah! Nice. Also, shout out to Martinez for that additional step of blowing up planets. Yeah. After you. <laughs> yeah, we want to just complain of absolutely destroy everything, like like humans would do. <laughs> destroy everything yeah. we thought. We're good yeah, at that. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. But overall, so yeah, this is. There's one up here huge. behind this laser. Yeah. Oh, somehow I took out the. Uh... Okay, I'll let you take that. Please one don't out. say fuel. I'll... I hope I didn't. I hit something, but oh, the shields no. went away. I I don't know yet. Let's not let's not place judgment here quite yet, okay? Uh, we don't no, know what judged. happened. You've been judged. We don't know what happened yet, okay? Oh we don't know. Do you want that spread? Sure. Now, hey, right, you definitely know that, like, oh, the other recharge games, like, power-ups are a huge part of it. Whereas this is a much more subdued experience, and, like, it's more about survivability, and so yeah, we, we couldn't have power-ups just disappearing super fast and whatnot, but I'm we just like to I'm place local. them in specific areas so that, you know, you can utilize them if you come across them, but they're not the core of the game, as I Get would say feel. a lot of feel. the other improvements have been. I'll grab this. Wait, why is that one just floating there? It must have got hit by something. Oh, this is where you shot something. Maybe. You blew something up down here. Or it's a bug. Let's let's just call it what it is. All right. We're a, okay. we're a while from release. What don't. is that? I don't know. Ah! Woo! Oh. oh. Nice. Okay, nice, I'm gonna grab nice, that. Nice. I mean, I've I have like three pixels less than you. So, all right, let's go. And we're out. Safe. All oh, right. geez. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, we had some asteroids. You can shoot the asteroids. I also love the sun. Shout out to the sun. And, or the, sorry, it's I'm not sorry, the sun. Sorry, did you just say shout out to the sun? Shout out to the star. Because yeah. there's just something cool to, about flying by this thing and shooting it and seeing the, and seeing like Shout out to the sun. Crashing. Shout out to the sun for, for burning <laughs> me. For burning me that one time in Fiji. Shout and, out to the sun lady. for giving me cancer that one time. I didn't, Appreciate it, it. It wasn't cancer. Let's just be clear. But a lady did think I had third degree burns. No, no, no. I got cancer. Oh, you got cancer? Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry to hear that. We should talk about know. that. People love talking about it. <laughs> All right. You want to you gamble and take that? No, oh, my God. On the way back. Worry about it on the way back. Worry about okay. it on the way back. Okay. Right, okay. There we go. All right. So, Adam, maybe you could talk about this because ah! we haven't addressed it and it's pretty obvious. Let's talk about the um, let's talk about the whole idea of the burst shot versus the single shot. Yeah. Why so you, why did you do this? So in the original game, uh, one of the things that you'll notice is like trying to nail a shot can be incredibly difficult in in Gravatar because it's such a unique way. Like every, you're being pulled into objects. Meanwhile, you're turning. You're just doing small thrusts. It's not like a twin stick shooter where you really have that refined, oh, oh my God, have that refined control over it. So uh, it was actually suggested, I think by Tadas, uh, as a good middle ground uh, because we were talking about ways to improve the aiming. We didn't want to have a full on aimer because we felt like it was really straying too far away from the original, whereas the burst shot allows you to cover slightly more ground uh, without it feeling too, let's say, cheap. Um, and so it's an improvement that still keeps shooting really difficult to be, oh my God, what are you doing? <laughs> I wanted the fuel. I got, I got too cocky. Oh my right, God. Oh God, what am I gonna do here? Do I care Leave. about that? No, get out of here. Okay. Try to okay. get some points and bring me back. Okay. We got, we got the things. I was like feeling it. I said, man, we are doing great. Yeah. Like, did we even address the fact that we were on a tether and you, when you play co-op, you can only go so far away from your, uh, yeah. from your partner? Like, uh, we didn't address that, but also you just totally just went on your own there, didn't you? Well, I didn't, it didn't affect what? anything. I, oh. wow, look at you, look at oh. you. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Look oh, at you, Jesus. you're like, wow. 
That was impressive. Thank you. Oh. Hey, audio listeners, you got to go and see what Adam just did. Oh, man, he was dodging bullets like the Matrix. <laughs> I don't know how that went down that way, but... That was see. impressive. I'm okay, impressed. so I can shoot that Don't blow yourself up. Oh, my it God. Lines. Ooh. <laughs> it was, that was so close. close. That was very close. Yeah. And you notice the complexity really ramps up with these uh, with these levels. And it's quite, oh yeah, quite cool. Oh, the late levels too get pretty wild. Oh yeah. Um, also, there is another this... key thing about our uh, about this game that differentiates it from some of our other ones. Uh, yeah, go for it. It doesn't go forever. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I mean, you can definitely play it forever because it's still a score chasing. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's true. If you, but, um, you know, it is. Look, the different. marketing says it itself. The marketing tagline: "You are trying to find your way home." Yep. What What does that mean for the? Oh. What does that mean for a for an arcade mode that may or may not go forever? Well, you just have to find out. I mean, it it means it doesn't go forever. Is what Jason's trying to. Say, yeah, but... Do the one on the left, because this is cool, because this is the, um... Oh, no, Did sorry, I miss the mistaken. memo that said we weren't supposed to tell people it doesn't go forever? No, it's fine. Okay. Um, I, I didn't tell anybody what what happens. <laughs> that's a big, that's a big spoiler alert. We can't, yeah. we can't expose that big twist. Oh, snap, Ooh. did I just say that there's, that there's a big twist? <gasps> Twist. You beat the game. You beat the game, and then all of a sudden, it turns into an entirely different game. <laughs> I mean, you beat it, and then and then it turns into Snake Recharged. Yeah, I mean, you're putting that out there, so now somewhere is going to report that as fact. So that's fine. We need to dispel that rumor. <laughs> yeah, to because, be clear, oh my god, it does, not, it does not turn into Snake Recharged. <laughs> that is not a thing. <laughs> I need some fuel these backgrounds it's just very cool there's just something cool about the giant star shout out to the star again the giant star oh my god i shouted oh out to the sun and adam may or may not have brought some dark stuff up in the process oh no why, why did that happen because i got hit in the butt by the ufo we did quite well i'm not gonna lie look at this let's just pause on this for a moment again game over screen new one god damn it Big breakdown of the score. What does everybody say? What, what was one of the biggest feedback uh, points that we got from the last games? It was not being clear what your score was if you don't pay attention. Well, if it, and if it wasn't in the top five, mm -hmm. now you will know your current score no matter what every it's single true. time. It's true. It's very true. So that's, uh... that's pretty, pretty cool. All right. So we just did. Um, that was a pretty good run. I don't really want to do much. I don't want to do another run because okay. I don't want to show more of it. Fair. But what I do want to show is the missions. But before that, oh, I already clicked that. Before that, <laughs> before that, <laughs> I'll go back. <laughs> this didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Before that, let's hear a word from our sponsors. The fun is back. Oh, yes, sirree. It's the 2600 from Atari. It's the video system with classics galore. From space invaders to cars that roar. A real hip joystick controls the screen. Solaris is hot and midnight magic's mean. And one more thing, it's got a special low price. Under 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Now, isn't that nice? The fun is back. Oh, yes, sirree. It's the 2600 from Atari. All right, so we're back. <laughs> Now, before <laughs> before we get into that, I, I just want to, I got some questions here. I made a call for some questions, right? And on the uh, official Atari Discord, that's where I'm reading these from. So I got a few questions here. But let me, so let's just run through these before we jump into some of these missions gameplay. Right. You know, we got, we got some cool stuff going on here. Shout out to Yorkies TV. Asked a lot of questions. Yorkies, I see them. I'm going to leave them there. And I'm going to say I can't answer any of those questions. Nothing to announce at this time, but I appreciate the questions. Okay, next up, Sabretooth Retro. Shout out to Saber Sabretooth Retro. Um, big fan of ours. You love to see it. He said, Gravitar Recharge looks markedly different from the style found in the first Recharge games. 
what are some of the design, what are some of the game design and aesthetic changes that we can look forward to in the upcoming titles? You want to answer that? And you can't say what the upcoming titles are, but perhaps you could sprinkle with a little ambiguity. <laughs> um, what if I just said, oh. <laughs> Right, so that... Adam doesn't know what he Adam doesn't know what he can and cannot say. Let me just no, say no, 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 no. I do know. I do know. Um, it, like this one is very unique in regards to kind of the direction we went. Uh, the original obviously is very minimal because it's like uh, it was on very limited hardware, of course. But it was doing some really creative things with the ability to like zoom the camera in almost, even though technically that's not what's happening. Uh, it it looked really cool, and so we wanted to be able to emulate a lot of those, but make it feel a little more modern, um, as opposed to just uh, being another Gravatar attempt uh, that's just yeah. like super neon. Um, I don't I don't know. I, I I feel like the way we went here makes a lot more sense because this is more peaceful feeling, more serene. Whereas, because you spend a lot of time in Gravatar, it's like we've really pressed on the brake here, and it's a lot calmer experience and more meticulous experience than the previous ones where it's like, oh my God, everything's coming at me <laughs> all at once. What am I supposed to do? So like you're really slowing it down and then taking a break while you play. And while it could still get incredibly intense, it just felt like a, a different art style was merited here. Yeah, and I think with these new titles where, you know, we learned a lot from that, and that kind of goes into your next question, but we wanted to take a little bit more risks with yeah. this. And for what I can say is with this title and the upcoming titles, we're really going to lean into what, what makes the game feel like that game. Mm -hmm. Like, I think when we took the first four, we were looking purely at that, you know, that frantic arcade experience, the score chasing arcade experience. Mm -hmm. And we're going to keep that DNA in the games that we have and that the ones that are coming up. But at the same time, we are going to play around with what those games actually mean to be modernized in the yes. Recharge uh, series. And I, I think you're gonna be quite pleased with what you see next. And I could say that, I, I could say with certainty that the pastel theme that you see in Gravatar is not going to be in the next game, <laughs> okay? Like it's it, this is definitely a uniquely Gravatar Recharge art style that we chose mm -hmm. intentionally. So that's there. Adam, this is going to be a, I, I'm excited to hear your answer on this one. I'm just trying not to say what the next game is. I know. It's cool. What is the biggest lesson? This is also from Sabretooth Retro, but I thought it was a good question. What is the biggest lesson learned from the development and release of the earlier Recharge games? And how has that informed the design of the next four in the series? I guess we did announce that we're doing four of those. Go Wait, we did announce that? Let's say we did. He wrote it. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I've said it countless times on my stream. <laughs> yeah. Well, so enough. who knows? <laughs> biggest lesson. Uh, the biggest lesson, I'd say, like, honestly, the biggest lesson we learned was <laughs> it's kind of weird, but you can miss things sometimes. The most basic of things, um, just because, like, while, while we absolutely nailed uh, something like Centipede, I, I just love how it played. It was so much fun. Uh, we had a blast playing it as we were making it. And then we released it and then we were like, oh my God, on PC, how did we not have mouse support, right? And then we did it. We obviously scrambled and got that sorted. And now it plays amazingly with the mouse. It's not that it wasn't playable, it's just it's funny that like that wasn't a thing for us because it can sometimes just get missed. And it can be a thing that you're like, oh weird, that should have naturally occurred to us. And so those type of things we have discussions about like, uh, just like standardized features that it's like, oh, we don't wanna miss that. We wanna make sure that they're all working, they're all functional because we're so focused on the past and looking at those games and be like, oh yeah, this is how it plays, this is how it feels best. Um, and of course we didn't have a paddle necessarily to start playing the game with, so we we got used to it with controllers out the game. Yeah, I'd also say, 
you know, from my perspective, the biggest lesson we learned and one of the reasons that caused the, the larger gap between Breakout and this next series of Recharge titles is the just the development process of building on eight different platforms, right? Oh, or, yes. Say, I guess nine platforms, right? You're launching to, um, you know, just like all the other titles before, Gravitar Recharge is coming out day and date on the VCS, Switch, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, PS5, PC via Epic and Steam. Did I miss anything? I think I got them all. So that's eight. Yeah, and like so PC is eight. Windows, Mac, Linux. Like, yep. it, yeah, exactly. It's wild. So when a lot of this stuff was, you know, you're building from the ground up, you're trying to create all these systems to translate to the other one, to all the other platforms and finding the most optimal ways to develop a foundation yeah. that can not only be transferred to all the other games for the individual one you're working on, but then the follow-up games themselves that make for a uh, more seamless transition of rapid development. So when we go from Gravatar to the next game, we basically took all the learnings because this is effectively yeah. on a on we we've used some stuff from the past but we have a a more stable foundation mm -hmm. that is going to make things much smoother on the back end the things that you don't see are critical to our success on our side so yeah that's, and um, sneaky box that's is like a huge proponent of how that stuff all functions and how everything literally gets done um and the yep. folks at sneaky box are like incredibly talented yep oh yeah they're the best Sorry, Adam. They're the best. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm used you to know. it. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. All right. Some more questions here. Mike uh, Mock Duck. You don't get to answer this question, Adam. Okay. I'll answer for. I'll answer for both of us. My question is this: How correct am I that the next four recharge games are Yars Revenge, Night Driver, Atari Pinball? So and he puts in parentheses Video Pinball Recharge, which is hilarious. And Combat. Let me tell you something, Mock Duck. You're not that correct. So let's go move on. <laughs> Hopefully, I didn't uh, make any facial twitches or something. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. I didn't even look. You I was have just to look. You might have to blur me out. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, that's it. Those are for the questions. I can't answer the other ones. Saber Tooth Retro, you already got two questions, and I'm not going to answer the last two. But you'll <laughs> learn soon enough when we have something to announce. So he asked about some VCS specific questions. Oh, I see. Um, yeah. And and some VCS stuff is still in development, so I don't have good answers, and I don't want to give you bad information. Okay, shall we uh, jump into some missions here? We'll take uh, we'll do a few minutes, jump into some missions. Yeah, let's do it. All right, well, you'll notice some things changed here as well. Let's jump in. Before we jump into a mission, let's just explain some things. So we also have single player co-op. Everything in the game is co-op as usual. Um, also, but the biggest thing that's changed is that the leaderboard system has changed. So Adam, why don't you hit upon the leaderboard system while- Uh, we yeah, so- I guess they probably won't work at the moment. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, we've, so we've planned on They work, it. but there's yeah. not much as... Uh, so, yeah. how the leaderboards are going to work. Instead, we we found that it was too restricting to have the leaderboards tied to every single challenge. So, like, as we wanted to make more challenges, it was like, okay, what if nobody plays this challenge, but more people play this challenge? Like, people just aren't interested in competing in all of them. So we actually made it an overarching system. So it's like a point system across all challenges. So as you complete all the challenges, you improve your ranking. So every time you go back to a challenge and you look at your stats here and you decide, hey, I can improve in this challenge, that improvement pushes you just a little further in the leaderboards every time. So every challenge matters to your leaderboard status. Yep. Let's jump in. Let's do... Right. Uh... Let's do some let's do some uh, challenges here. All right. Now the challenges will you'll find they're like a, uh, e they each have the same type of uh, you know. Uh, Ooh, oh, you I overload. got this one. Yeah, go for, it, go for it. Go yeah, for it. Go for it. Sounds good. Overloads are great. Is the best power up in the game because you, it's invincibility, but you can't shoot, so you just got to ramrod into things. Yep. Oh my god. 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 Oh, my god. oh god. What are you doing? Oh, I crashed. What are you doing? I was watching you. Oh, oh that was a mistake. <laughs> you should never watch me. What was I saying no again? Watch me. Oh yeah, the challenges are uh, like you'll find each have a unique uh, objective and they're similar to the levels of the other ones, but we've made changes to ensure that they 
progressively get more difficult and are, oh my god, jeez, are uh, okay, definitely challenges, missions. Yeah. We did change the name from challenges to missions. Yeah. That happened. Yeah. Um, but there you go. I, I was able to complete this for the both of us. And here we go. We have that breakdown. I mean, you couldn't have done score. it without me, basically. I really could have. And, uh, and oh. we got the old mission score, so let's do... Uh, but we, we missed a rescue pod. So we could have... We could have, we could technically go back here, as you can see, and improve our score by grabbing a rescue pod, which would, again, improve our overall leaderboard standing. Um, yeah, and there's a time bonus for all of them. So they're all objective based. So this is destroy all enemies. Enough. This is active, activate all beacons. What do you want to do? Yep. Beacons? Let's do some beacons. Why not? Let's do some beacons. Okay. Sounds like, sounds like bacon. I love bacon. I love bacon so much. Shout out to bacon. <laughs> Again, mwah, shout out to bacon. <laughs> oh no, heat seeking. Now you're gonna, now you're gonna tell me uh, bacon gave you like some, like, so what's a disease that's caused uh, by too bacon much Bacon gave me a heart attack. Yeah. I mean it didn't, so like, probably one day. <laughs> oh Sorry shit. To <laughs> Why did you shoot it? I didn't. Who I shot it? Did. did the enemy shoot it? Yeah, that, that could be what happened. Oh, wow. Okay, Dude, so the, just uh, blaming it on the enemy. So the fuel, yeah, so the fuel explodes, yeah. which could be useful. Okay, so you, we're going, we're, that's how we're going to do this? Yeah. Again, we are on a tether. Um, there, okay. Yet again, it's on me to beat this level for us. You can, um, that's fine. You know what? Okay, so that's cool. I think there was a glitch. I'm gonna say there was a glitch. <laughs> Don't say there was a glitch. We're previewing our own game. This is supposed to be the most biased preview there is. No, no there glitch. was a Can't there was a bug because I couldn't have possibly died because I'm too good at this. Uh -huh. uh, so there must oh, have been a bug. That. I'm gonna have to look over the video and find out what the bug was, but somehow it resulted in me flying right into the wall. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting bug. <laughs> I'm not, you're not even on the remote connection here. It's me. Yeah. Here we go. Got the oh, rescue good. pod. And then you can see here the current score, best score, and then the all missions, which is your aggregate score of yeah. everything. Um, cool. Which, you know, should uh, hopefully be putting us ahead of some people uh, sometime soon. Oh, my God. Look at Pro J. What a cheater. It's pretty good at this game. <laughs> what a cheater. Wait, what do we got here? We got... Uh, this ship is for you. Oh, we gotta steal the intelligence. One more? Let's do one more. Yeah, let's do this one. And then steal some then intelligence. Maybe it. I'll survive this one. We'll oh, see. God. Maybe I should just, you know what? Jason, no! Go, go ahead. Show, show us how it's done. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, no. So the designs, I, you'll notice, if you haven't already, is that the designs of the missions kind of sequentially go with the same um, objectives that you have in arcade. Yeah. But they're definitely more ramped up. This is similar. <laughs> You're pretty good at this game. <laughs> see what, so, so you I see need to, what I, I mean. I need to make something clear as well. The, the <laughs> other difference between these game, between these new games and the Recharge series is that Adam is the designer. <laughs> so meaning he's also designed all of yeah. these levels yeah. himself. Yeah. Okay. So just to be clear. But I also have beaten them all countless times. I'm not but saying you have I'm somehow still shit. <laughs> it must be uh it must be the pressure. It must yeah. be the pressure oh, yeah. being watched sure. being watched by millions. Millions, don't question it. Millions. millions. Look, uh I think that's good. I think we could wrap this up. I think this was a great let's play. Yeah, we had some laughs. We had some. <laughs> we showed some great gameplay. There's your. Uh, there's your preview. First. Uh, first preview of Gravatar Recharge. We are hyped about this game. We're hyped Very for much. the future of the Recharge series itself because there's a lot going on. There's a lot happening. We got some updates coming for the for the previous titles. We Lots got this one updates. coming soon. We got more titles coming after this. And if you like what you see here and what we're doing with it, you're going to really like what we're doing with the following titles. And Which one is that? There is 
The, oh man, man, I wish I could tell you. I, I, I wish I, I wish I knew. Like yeah. you think, you think we're feigning ignorance here. I just don't know. I just don't know. Uh, but but if I did know, I would say that there is a weird one in the mix that no one would ever guess. So that means start guessing. Yeah. Um, but Gravatar Recharge is is going to be coming soon. Uh, pages will be coming up on the store on the uh, various storefronts within the coming week. So wish list when it when you can. Them, Wish list it, tell your friends, uh, yell it out your windows, uh, be it uh, on the road or uh, at your home. Uh, and yeah, so it's coming out soon, uh, spring, and that'll be available again for everything. You know, Atari VCS, Switch, Xbox One, Series X and S. Optimizations will be there as well for those. PS4, PS5, PC via Epic and Steam. Oh, my God. Get hyped. Adam, thanks for joining. Happy to do this Man. again. Always. Feels good to be back. It's always right? fun. Yep. Well, wait, of course. And where could they find you? Where could they follow you physically in person or on uh, Twitter? Just fault. on the streets or on Twitter at the Adam vision. Uh, that's all I really care about. Just follow me there and I'll let you know when things happen. Sometimes if I remember. <laughs> Great. And, you can follow, and you can follow me uh, on Twitter at Jays of Doom to do that. God, I love that see... username. And see me uh, promoting a whole bunch of other Atari stuff, you know? Yep. And if you have it, and if you listen to this one and you have it, watch the last one, watch the last uh, podcast, Let's Play, on Combinera. Yeah. Now on, at the time of this recording, on Open Critics 2022 Hall of Fame. That's wow. right. On the homepage. Very nice. 84% average on the same row as Kirby. Phenomenal Very game, nice. Kirby. But you Great know what's game. also a phenomenal game? Combinera. Combinera. You know what else is an amazing game? <laughs> Gravatar Recharged. And Damn with that, right. Let's get out of here. Adam, say goodbye to the people. Shout out to the sun.